Hello Superherd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Heroes and today I'm going to be showing off yet another legendary card. Today I'm going to be showing off the Nurse Gargantua card similar to other legendaries that were buffed into legendary status. This was originally just I think a super rare but now it is a legendary. We'll be showing it off in just a moment but there is actually a free pack available. That's the wrong button. There is actually a free pack available in the shop right now for the uh... I guess it's sort of like a celebratory pack. If you go to the For You section, you can see here the Garden Warfare 2 Frosty GIF. Celebrate the launch of Garden Warfare 2 Frosty Edition. One Garden Warfare 2 Frosty pack and limited one per player. So a limited Garden Warfare 2 Frosty pack seems to have a guaranteed scientist in it and then can get, you know, a, a hover goat, it can get a legendary, it can get a couple other things. I highly doubt we're getting a legendary out of this, but hey, maybe we will get lucky with the Garden Warfare 2 Frosty gift. And if you're curious about the Garden Warfare 2 Frestive Frosty uh, packs, I've already showed off all the new stuff in them and the new abilities, so you can check that out on the channel. But for now, we get a couple uncommons, the rare scientist, and that is it. So. Nothing new here for me, I don't think. Yep, we had all of this. So that's just extra sparks for me. I'm not too surprised, which is why I wasn't on the edge of my seat opening that up. But yeah, I gotta go ahead, because I actually haven't made a proper deck for this uh, deck, or for this, now for this Nurse Gargantua. So if I go to, Gar or what's his name? The Smash, he's a beastly character. I think it would work well with him, because obviously the Smash has some pretty good, um, Gargantua focused things. I think that we're just gonna go ahead, like even there's gaggle of gargs here, as you can see. Um, well, I didn't want to select it, I wanted to check it out. <laughs> the gaggle of gargs, if we check out the info on it, does this have nurse, it does have nurse Gargantua. And we have a couple nurse Gargantuars, like this one only wants one, but we have four. So I might try to make like an alteration to this that's Gargantua focused, but is more focused towards nurse Gargantua. But hey, maybe I should explain the card first. The Nurse Gargantua, of course, is a professional Gargantua zombie. A wicked seven brains, six damage, and six health. It is beastly. When this does damage, heal your hero for that much. This is perfect for late game turnarounds or mid game turnarounds if you have the Gargologist. Very, very good in that way because once this thing hits, you're healing for six. That's pretty crazy. Their bedside manner could use some work. All right then, so I'll try to figure out something with this. Okay, this is certainly isn't the best deck ever, um, but I'm hoping that this will be good. It has a decent amount of early and mid game, and hopefully just things to protect the Gargologist a bit more. That way, once we get a little bit later in the game, we can have two or three Gargologists out, because what they do, of course, the Gargologist makes it so that Gargantuars cost two less. So if we have at least one Gargologist out, they'll make it so that this Gargantuar, the Nurse Gargantuar, is five cost right away. Then we have other Gargantuars, like the normal one that'll give him friendly, or not friendly, frenzy is not friendly, that's for sure. And then we just have some other things to hopefully protect, you know, make sure that they don't have too many strong enemies they're going against. So I think that'll be good. Gaggle of Gargs number two. Let's go online and try some. If I do successfully with some casuals, maybe we'll move on to ranked, but we just have to try it and find out together. If you guys didn't see the previous uh, Legendary Showcase, which was the previous episode of PBC Heroes, we showed off the Soul Patch. I suggest you check that out as well. And it was a fun one. We actually did pretty well too. We won most of the games, and we just had some good times with it. So, uh, let's find a game. Okay, so we do start with one right away, which is fine for the most part, but I might look for some other stuff, so like, I don't need this right now. Hmm. I mean, I could hold on to it, but the thing is, if I don't find the Gargologist, I'll be in trouble, so hopefully we find the Gargologist, and maybe I can play this first game and find out how to tweak it, because I'm not the best with high-cost cards like this most of the time, but we'll see. Looks like he's getting a walnut out right away, probably to defend um, anything that he wants to put in, out next. Maybe I should have gotten my environment out, but honestly, he could have just counter environmented. There we go, that's what I'm looking for a bit more. I won't play it just yet, but next turn I could play it and then also give it a plus one, plus four? Plus one, plus three. And that'll be a three, six. So that'll be actually pretty intimidating. Our biggest fear right now would be deadly if a plant could get deadly, but it can't as far as I know. So our second biggest fear is either an environment that heavily inhibits us or scarier than that, a um, either a squash or something like that that could take things out right away. So what I could do instead, I was thinking about um doing the, the health. Instead, maybe what I could do is put this down to cover that environment, that is perfect actually, as long as you don't heal here, which you might. Oh wow, okay, so you also got a, uh, so this is gonna actually power up the cosmos here. Oh, but now this costs zero. 
Oh, because this is a gargantuar move, what do you know? So this is cheaper now, this is where the Gargologist can really shine because of just how good this is. So I think I'm, I could just go ahead and take out you. We'll give it a shot, we'll see what happens. It is for still my trial run to see how everything goes. It would be better maybe if I took out the Walnut there, but we'll have to see. If I take a lot of, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have been worried about losing too much health here at the beginning of the game. Ooh, that's good. Because I could play this and then I would have two brains left and the Nurse Gargantor would still cost three brains, so I wouldn't be able to play him yet. But I don't really have too much more left to spend on anything else, so maybe I should just throw you out now and the next turn I can play uh, well, at least one of the Nurse Gargantuars guaranteed. You really like Cosmos. He must have a lot of environments on the way if he has multiple Cosmoses. I don't know if he has a, he's probably going obviously for the healing setup. I will put this on Yoon. It won't help you too much here, but next couple of turns I think it'll be good. So you're gonna do some damage. I haven't taken any damage yet, but I'm about to take three damage guaranteed. So that's gonna be the start of what I can heal. And of course, if we buff up the Nurse Garcantor, the more we'll be healing for. So it really can be a last second turn on here at one health, you throw out the Nurse Gargantuar. Wow, that costs one. Oh, that's good. I really, I think I wanna play this right now because I'm not losing too much health. I think something that'd benefit me more in the long run right now is a card with Frenzy. So let's try that. I'm guessing you're gonna get some healing out here in a moment. Definitely is getting a healing focused deck. But why would you put that on the Heights lane? I'm not really sure, more than just to take care of the Gargologist, but um, it really isn't too big of a concern right now. Looks like he's getting unlucky with his cards. I think he's waiting for that, that environment and he's just not getting it yet. Oh wow. Okay, so we have three of the Nurse Gargantuars. I don't really have anything else to play, so I might as well. That's sort of the thing, this card, this deck is running out of momentum super quick. I don't really care about that. That sort of seems like a throwaway card to me. Um, so with this, I should be able to hit twice here and get heal, like, theoretically, I'd be healing for 12. Because I'd be healing for six here, so that's gonna get me to full. And then I'd be, yeah, that'd be it right there. So I can actually, I should be, yeah, be able to get him down to one health here, which will be fantastic. So that's actually a great start so far. Boom, good, and you're gonna hit me back down to 19. So I'm gonna have to activate his shield. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna hold on then. I don't think I need to play a Gargantuar this turn because I can just hold on to them until later when I really need more healing instead of them going out now and maybe even getting taken out prematurely. Instead, I'm just gonna hold on and hopefully be able to locust anything that's scary. And that sort of thing, it's just holding on until we get to the late game. That's pretty decent. Um, a decent thing to take out, really. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's how that works, huh? Oh, that's right. Does this drag them over? Yeah, yeah, okay. There's the black hole and then there's also the dark moon. So I'm gonna go ahead and locust you. And as long as he doesn't get his signature, I should win here. So let's see, will you get your signature? Mm, it might be, it might be a signature or it might be the water as well. So he has a decent chance of actually getting healed here. Yep, okay, there it is. It won't keep him alive for very long, but hey, that's fine. So if I actually, ooh, if I would have actually taken care of the nut there, I would have been fine, I would have been able to actually win. That's fine, and then I got this guy in here just in case I, you know, need him. Cause now it's like these guys only cost four. There's there's a very little chance he's winning this. He's going to need one heck of a turnaround, maybe if he had a card to play in front of the that Nurse Gargantuar, and then, yeah, he keeps forgetting that that's gonna happen. Or maybe he does know that? I don't really know. Yeah, that's gonna be it. We win. So a great start, I like it. Is it the best deck? I'm definitely gonna run into some flaws sooner or later here. I think card momentum, if we're not lucky enough to get the draws that we did and he was sort of unlucky, he didn't really seem to get the draws he wanted. Um, that's gonna make it a problem. The thing is, is that honestly, I think that even if he did get the Venus flytrap environment where he could heal, I think we would have been able to out heal him there. Especially once that Nurse Gargantuar gets the Frenzy from the Gargantuar, you're hitting multiple instances of six healing, which is crazy. So we'll do one more casual, see if we get a luckier opponent, and if we do well against them, then I'll move on to rank, but we'll have to see. For now though, what do we got? We're going against somebody, the Green Shadow. Okay, so we only need one Nurse Gargantuar. We also have some of these guys, because I just wanted a super low cost guy. So I'm gonna probably play him right away. Um, and it's also just to you know, delay the, the need of healing would be nice. So I'm gonna play you here. 
And I can save this superpower, I can save this for the Nurse Gargantuar, and then instead of healing for six, you'd be healing for eight when you actually land the damage. Even if you, like I actually don't know how that works, right? Like if the Nurse Gargantuar with six damage takes out this Click P with two health, do I restore two health or do I restore six? Because I'm hitting with six, I just only need to hit with two to win. I'm not really sure, maybe we could find that out. Now, I do not want to put anything in that center lane, or at least anything super important, because this is a green shadow we're going against. Um, I could play that now, just to sort of, honestly, I wouldn't mind playing this to bait out the signature, and then we won't have to worry about it. We can put whatever's useful there instead. So now I can actually go ahead with this guy in there. Ooh, that's not fun. Um, oh, if I just saved up for a trick there, I would've been fine, but at the same time, and is it that big of a deal? I'm not really sure. But um, what was I gonna say? I could have, you know, then played the Gorgologist there and I would have knocked down the cost of the Nurse Gorgantua all the way down to four. So that would have been really good. For now, I could try, once again, I'm trying to see if she has that signature because I'm not entirely convinced she doesn't have it yet. And she might after this next attack anyways, because we're about to activate our shield. Even though we've only hit her twice so far, and we've hit triple shields both times. Yikes, okay, so change of plans. You're gonna freeze that zombie, that's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here, because you were gonna ruin my plan. So, um, right now we'll do that. It looks like she's definitely going all in with the click pee strategy here. She has a lot of peas so far, she's only played pee pant. Plea Pea plants. She just played the click pea and the black eyed pea, so run into some issues, but I think we'll be able to make this work. Because your double strike isn't actually getting to my gargantua, which actually I feel like is less of an issue than taking out all my cards. So maybe I need to rethink some strategies here. But for now, I haven't had the chance to take care of that click pea, but I guess there are worth, worse things in the world. Because how the click pea works now that it's been nerfed is one played shuffle two click peas into your deck. For the rest of the game, all click peas get plus one one, but also cost one more. Okay, um, oh, you bounced. Oh, wow, that's actually not a big deal. Um, I could play this now, but once again, it's not really worth it. If I could get a normal Gargantuar here, and this is where maybe I should pump more normal Gargantuars in this setup, that's gonna hurt a bit. But that's where things could turn out pretty well if I get a normal Gargantuar and buff him up a bit. Come on, come on. Ooh, not quite. So this right here is gonna do minus six, six on them, those guys, because they're in an environment. But for now, oof, where should I put you? I, I don't wanna put you here because you're gonna get taken out. I think I'm gonna put you here. I have another one, if things go awry here, I'll be okay for now, but this is going against an enemy that seems to be getting a lot luckier than our previous enemy. So that's, oh, here we go, it's gone. No, no, it's not, what do you know? That's surprising to me. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of Yoon. Next turn for sure, if we don't do something about him, as is, you can say bye-bye to him. Um, so that is healing, which I could really use right now. So it's gonna get me up to 14. And then if this Nurse Gargantua hits, it's gonna get me back up the full health. Perfect. So she she has this like weird pea frozen hybrid going on. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we got a couple options here. I think that unless, like I don't think she'll be lucky enough to have two frozen things here. Okay, so I can wait until my tricks phase here, and ooh, I got some options. I definitely have some options here. Oh, here it is, I knew she had it! It was only a matter of time! Okay, well, that ruins some of my options, but not all of them, really. It depends, what is this other card? It's not a frozen card, so all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do this to you, that way I can take you out this turn and not have to sweat it, and it won't get rid of our Gargalogist, that way if we run into more Gargantuars, oh, wait. Oh, was that a minus six six because it was on heights? I actually didn't realize that. I thought it was only on in environments. Ooh. Well, we at least healed up there, back to 14. That's good. Okay, ooh, yeah, I haven't seen you yet. So you're gonna be a four cost, that's really not bad. I'll put you here, and then I can put you here, and then we'll see who we want to put this flag of power on, or whatever it's called. Galvanize. I wish it was flag of power. They don't have another tie in the Garden Warfare. See, it's a good thing I took care of that, uh, you know what, isn't it? So who should I take out here? I mean, who should I buff? I mean, I guess maybe Hune? Why I say that is because... 
I want him to survive to take care of this annoying click peak because it's just a trouble strike is just too much right now. We have another Nurse Gargantua, so if we do lose out on this guy, it isn't absolutely the end of the world. You're gonna attack again, getting me down to two health, which I don't like. That's why I'm glad I buffed him because he would have died there because you know he got the plus two health. Okay, so that's all we can do this turn. So we're gonna get another guaranteed heal out of the Nurse Gargantua. Oh my! Oh, that is not good. Okay, so he's been stalling out for that, or Sheen, in the Green Shadows of Sheen. Uh, there we go. So that's gonna activate our shield. It's not gonna be our signature. What is it gonna be then? Ooh, it is, ooh, that's awful. Oh well, well we tried for a little bit there. A bit difficult, but hopefully we'll be able to make more of it work. And you have double strike, and I don't get a shield out of it. Jeez, Gabe's not giving me any love right now. Who can I take out right now? Ooh, I gotta take out you. I have to take out you so that you keep surviving. That'll be better than nothing here. Okay, you're gonna hit again. So things are looking a little nasty right now, I will not deny. Oh, but it's so close. So what I need to do here, oh, I don't have many options either. I need to be able to do this, and just hope you do not hit for five. Put this environment over it so that you get minus one damage, that way you're not able to take care of our Nurse, nurse Gargantua. It'll get me back up to 11 health, and you're going to heal it. All right, you're gonna freeze it, aren't you? Wow, that's unlucky! So unless we get double, triple shields, no, even if we get double, triple shields, we'll lose here. Um, Then we just lost. Oh man, that stinks, we were so close down. We were so very close, of course. And that's where it's like, I feel like a situation where we got much less lucky and the enemy got much more lucky. Cause she just got shields left and right. I mean, I guess I got two shield activations there too, but I feel like it took me longer. I don't know. So we'll try one more time. I don't really know what I would change with this sound. I think that if I, edit it really quickly. I mean, beyond what I have here, it would be great if I could find more ways to, hmm. I just lower the cost of things, you know? But the best way to do that is to have the setup I have. Maybe less of you, maybe that's just not necessary. And then, well maybe I'll have like one. And then, I don't think I need this guy. I mean, he might be useful, he might have been useful in that situation. But I think more tricks would be good. More tricks, so let's just go ahead and like get rid of this. Or not get rid of it, but add that. And that, I mean, that gets me to 40 right there. So maybe I should do that instead? Okay, nope. Okay, so. With this slightly more improved setup, hopefully we can get a game one. We've got a game one and a game lost. So hopefully this will be our third and final casual and then I can move on to at least one game of ranked. I don't think I'll be doing the daily challenge in today's video because I just want to get it as much about the Nurse Gargantua as possible. But I haven't asked you guys yet today, what are your thoughts on the Nurse Gargantua? Do you have any Nurse Gargantuas? And if you do, let me know your thoughts on them, your strategies, all that kind of stuff. A lot of you let me know some interesting and helpful information about Soul Patch, of course, to avoid deadlies because deadlies can destroy Soul Patches but yeah, you should check out the comment section of that video if you wanna hear more about that. But for now, um, this actually isn't too bad. I wish I could have a little bit more low cost, but I think we can hold on until then. Now, sort of the nice thing about the Nurse Gargantua is that if you can get it lowered in cost to five, you can sort of make up the damage you took as long as you didn't take like devastating amount of damage, but I mean, at the same time, if you were taking a devastating amount of damage by turn like three or four, then maybe it just wasn't your game. Okay. Well, for right now, I have to wait around for you to choose your cards, hopefully, or maybe you're not here. One of those two things. But it's, it's very interesting that they changed your mind on this card. It used to not be a legendary, and then they're like, you know what, this is a very powerful card, let's make it a legendary. And they did the same thing with Briar Rose, Poppin' Poppies, Teleport. So there are a couple cards like that. Some of them I've shown off, I've shown off Briar Rose. I've shown off Valkyrie, that was another one that wasn't a legendary that got upgraded to a legendary. Oh, hey, okay. That does make things slightly more difficult, but I should be able to hold on just fine. Um. Okay, that'll cost two. But actually, that's still perfect, because I could play that, and I'll heal my hero for two, and then I'm back up the full. It's like nothing ever happened. Okay, I'll do that then. And then we also finally got this. That's gonna be great. That could be applied to uh, Nurse Gargantua. He just has Frenzy then, and that's great. So you're gonna have your splash damage that I'm not too worried about. 
Um, okay, that's pretty good. Let me just go ahead and do this and then do the environment then. And that way we're already on turn three. We we'll only need two more turns, turn four and turn five until we're able to get that Nurse Gargantua out here, maybe even throw a frenzy on him. That'd be really good. So things are working out in our way so far, but I really don't know how things are going for Beta Caratina here. She might be doing good as well. But for right now, it's just intense. Oh, oh, that's actually not so fun, but environments don't count with that. So as long as I can just sort of beat around the bush for a little bit, what I'll probably do is play you now, lower your damage, ooh, or I can get another one. Oh, this leads to a lot of options. But I don't think I wanna take those options just yet. Instead, I want to just go ahead and deal with you. I mean, you have one, you're a tutu. So things might not turn out the way I want them to still. But if they do, that's awesome, because this will lower you to one damage, but she might play something that I'd rather lower the damage of. We'll have to see. I mean, no matter what she plays, it's going to be placed in the environment lane, unless she plays over the environment. Because she might have a couple environments. She's better Caratina. She's got a couple of those to use. She's thinking about it, though. I don't know what she's gonna end up doing, but it'll be something. <laughs> she takes her time, which is fine. That's totally, you know, it's a card game. Sometimes you gotta take your time. But yeah, hopefully next turn then, I can get out the other Gargologist. I'll have five brains. So if I play the Gargologist, that'll lower the uh, Nurse Gargantua to three brains, which will be great. I mean, maybe then I shouldn't worry about it. I don't know, maybe I should just play the Nurse Gargantua. Hmm. I hope she didn't quit. Oh, did she quit already? Oh, come on. We had all the strategy all built out and ready to go. That would stink if you quit, but you might've just quit. That'd be great for nobody. Yep, you quit. All right, maybe that's my sign I should try ranked now. Okay, well, better carrot ain't up to the fun, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to ranked mode and hopefully we can do better there. So ranked, go. We're only levels, I haven't had no time to play off camera. Like, no time. Especially with the event cards being repeats, because if you didn't know, we finally reached a one year mark of this game. This game has been officially out in all worldwide for a full year now, and happened back in October. And yeah, that's just really interesting. And because of that, we're starting to finally see some repeat event cards, like on um, the, the Professional Eater, or whatever his name is, we've had um, the Spooky Squash, or whatever. I can't even remember the names of any of them, so maybe it wasn't worth repeating them, I don't know. Um, so for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Now this right here, a plant gets minus two, two, and all other copies of that plant also get minus two. That's actually really good. So right here, this is a good setup for mid game. If I had this at like turn five, I'd be really pleased. So I think that's good. It'll lower the uh, cost of our superpower to zero, which is fine with me. Aggressive one to start things off, Usually doesn't benefit a green shadow to do that. Usually a green shadow wants to use that to take care of a scary card, but maybe they respect my intellect and expect me to not just play anything, but now I'll be playing things in the middle lane. But before I would have avoided the middle lane until you use that superpower, so that's not fun, but I can just smash you right away. So I think I will, even if I could have done it for zero cost later, I just want it out of my hair. So there we go. And we're just gonna end it with that. So we both do use our signatures. <laughs> okay, well, not too bad stuff here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play the Nurse Gargantua. I might as well play her in the center lane then. Just to stretch my muscles a little bit. That's what the Smash does, he flexes. Cause he's, he's made of mostly muscle. Okay, so they're gonna get double strike, but who's double striking? Oh, you're gonna move me out of that lane, huh? You're evicting me. Um, That's fine, cause I can actually do this. I know I could have saved that for the Nurse Gargantua, but at this point, I don't know if it's exactly necessary. Um, okay, not bad. If I run into any issues where I might need that. Now the thing is, is that since the center lane is so unprotected, why would you put something here? Cause I like, I mean, I'm just not afraid. I guess it doesn't really matter where you put it, I guess is the idea. I can just put this Gargantua here and I'm not really afraid of what you put there. Is this a trend? <laughs> okay. Well, at least you guys are getting some of the idea of my strategies, even if I don't have enough time within the game to apply, I will go for one more match. I'm glad I got an easy ranked one, but it's easy, it's weird that people are throwing in the towel so quickly in ranked. I'll go for one more match today. That's all the time I have, I think. And then we will be calling it a day for the Nurse Gargantua. But you can tell, 
There have been some times where I was, I was getting pretty low on health, like eight health, and Gargantua can just hit you right back up to full, especially when he's Frenzy. You wanna have the Gargantua focused deck. Maybe not having a Nurse Gargantua focused net deck is good, but maybe only one or two Nurse Gargantuas slipped in there in a Gargantua deck is pretty good. The reason why I have so many, of course, is because I'm trying to showcase him. So, interesting thing is here. I could uh, actually save up and play Yoon, and then wait around until we have more Gargantuars, play these two, and then play the Gargantua for like five costs less than it actually is. So for like the base Gargantua, the normal Gargantua, totally free. <laughs> Ain't that great. I'm gonna hold on to my environment, because sometimes some Spadal setups have some decent environments in use. So I'm gonna wait and counter environment with that. So right now I'll play you here. I won't have any tricks to defend you, but honestly, I would rather him use a potato mine against this than anything else. Or that, yeah, that's fine. Cause I'd rather you use that against that than the Gargologist who's gonna send me two brains instead of one. That's fine with me, even if it's just a uh, superpower bait. And I think I'm gonna play you, yeah. If I don't have to play the Gargologist just yet, I might as well hold on. Okay, you're gonna conjure a mushroom and gets plus two damage. Well, guess what I do, I minus two damage. So let's see how much you're gonna do with that. So go ahead and get rid of the damage there. So we're gonna take the lead in damage here. We're also gonna take the lead in effective cards, but it looks like Spadal has more cards than me for now. Spadal for now. So I could play Gargalo just now. I'm still not entirely convinced that that's what I want to do though. I just basically have a bunch of cards that are gonna help me stall out. Armored cards, you're gonna, oh wow, actually not a bad idea. Holy cow, are you kidding me? What? We're on turn, like what? Turn four and you just, that is so not fair. Are you kidding me? Why? Okay, well now we're do or die. We gotta get that Nurse Gargantuar out of here. Jeez. Turn four, yeah, wait, 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 we had two brains. Yeah, it was turn four and you're gonna get a lucky cornucopia? RNG right there. Oh my gosh, why? Oh, I wanna see myself get out of this situation. It ain't gonna happen. So what do you do? You, you conjure a superpower when you do damage, which is just, no, you conjure a legendary card when you do damage. Why? Why did he get a legendary out of a legend? He got two legendaries out of a legendary. Yeesh. That is just not fair. That is just not fair. There is my like my silver lining here. If I can get there, if I can survive to that point. I don't know if I can. But if I can just survive until next turn, some way, somehow I'm gonna do it. Things can turn around in my favor. Cause you'll be three costs, I'll have Six brains, so I'll have three brains to do something with. Okay, well, I had some plans. Oh, come on. Get out of here with that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to you. That way you're not call, you know, generating any more legendary cards. This will affect my shield, maybe, yes. Okay, I'll hold on to that for when I need it, which will be hopefully in just a couple of moments when I spawn this Nurse Gargantuar, and then everything gets peachy keen again. So you're a five cost, which means I can put you here, and then I have a, a frenzy for you. As long as, you know, the six brain doesn't put the very good use. That's six sun that he has. Oh, come on, could I have gotten any more unlucky? I mean, I guess he could have spawned all legendaries. Oh, hello, other legendary. Um, You still have four brain, uh, four sun I don't know why I want to call them brains. So, okay, so he's already gonna become a two five, I think. Or two four, that's what I meant. So, I got a couple options here, not many, but I could at least heal myself up a fair chunk. And then I'm back to sort of being in a really bad spot. We'll have to see how this works out. Oh my, okay, so that's fine though, that is fine. I can work with that, you're gonna move to that lane. You're gonna have minus one damage, which is fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and frenzy you. That way we're taking care of somebody there. We're frenzying you, which means you're going to survive, which I really, really need. You're gonna bring me back up to 13 health. And you're gonna be able to damage you, so that's good. And then I'm gonna be knocked back down. Oh wow, that's right, I get double heals. Oh, that's beautiful, that helps me out a ton. I mean, I'm still getting beat up here real bad, but, oh, and that's good, but not good enough. 
Okay, so you're gonna have so much sun to work with here, it's gonna make my head spin. And I have this weird option right now, like I don't know what to go for. Because I wanna keep the Frenzy Nurse Gargantua alive, but that would take me these three tricks. But it might be worth it. But it also might get me in this awful spot. It's at least, I don't know, it might not do anything. He just might use a squash, I really can't remember. Which kind of, okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, actually. Really? That's all you're gonna do here? Fine. I Actually, that's just gonna be more heals for me when I use these tricks, unless he has to have something more. That's fine, I don't care too much about that. Cause I'm gonna be able to heal myself up to full here. I do that. I do this, ready? And then I get rid of one of these guys, sure, why not? And that's gonna get me back up to full um, soon enough once I attack with this Nurse Gargantua. So you're gonna hit me for three, you're gonna hit me for one, and I'm gonna heal for nine, right? Or am I gonna heal for one? Let's see how this works. Nope, I heal for the nine damage regardless of how much damage I took. So that's gonna activate your shield, even if it's a super duper, uh, what's it called? Even if it's a super duper, Potato mine, it won't affect me this turn, which is great. So this is where the Nurse Gargantua can come in handy. I'm just fighting to stay alive. Oh, okay, who do I wanna take out? I think I need to take out you because you're starting to spiral out of control and that's only gonna get worse. So I'm gonna get rid of Yoon. As long as he doesn't counter the environment, he won't get more legendary cards, but he still might do that. Now Yoon, if it's on heights or an environment, mm, but I can't afford it this turn. I mean, I could? but I might be putting myself in huge danger. But it'd be minus six, minus six, so I think I need to take it. Because if he plays something on the environment in front of the Nurse Gargantua, I can then just minus six, minus six, okay. He's running out of good cards. He's running out of good cards. He should have, like, this is the big mistake. If he played um, one of these environments, just one of those in front of, or over my environment, he would have been fine. Oh, there it goes. Jeez, okay. Well, actually, that destroys all plants and zombies over four damage. So I'm gonna take that as actually a benefit because it would have destroyed my Nurse Gargantua, my other Nurse Gargantua, then I'd be out of everything. So I'm tempted to take you out, but I don't think I need to just yet. I'm gonna have nine brains next turn. Um, touch screen. And this is gonna build up my last shield. Little does he know I have another Nurse Gargantua. I mean, he probably should know it, but he don't. Okay, and that's gonna heal me back up to 18. I have nothing left. So if I could get a Frenzy here or a Gargologist, I just, I need more cards. And that's sort of a, ooh, buddy, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. It's, oh, it could be better, but it's good. Cause that's gonna keep, that's gonna get rid of everything but that one shroom and then the, the the body gourd. Oh my gosh! How bad is my luck and poor planning gonna get me? Now this is gonna take care of nobody. It's gonna get rid of, oh, I gotta get rid of you. So it's worth it, but if it could have just lasted me a little bit longer, man, that stinks. I'm gonna have to get rid of you, and this is where I might just have to kick the can. I mean, if I could just hold on once again for a little bit longer some way, somehow, but that's it. Wow, I held on there. You can see I was that close to making that game mine. That close, ugh. But it shows a good example of how the Nurse Gargantua can work. Obviously, you don't want an entire deck focused on him, at least you don't want the deck I'm using because it's not perfect, but that's okay. That is okay. There is some Nurse Gargantua legendary card action. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Nurse so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.